We have started our journey end of last year. Fortunately or unfortunately at that stage, we were in some of these contracts for a period of time. We are negotiating very hard. We're showing the reality of this industry, not only ArcelorMittal, of this industry, vis-a-vis -vis some of the major suppliers that we procure from. We procure about 32 billion rand. And we are just not going to pay the increases that was expected in the old days. So we have seen a lot of success already. And those numbers will come in as we get out of the older contracts that we had. The second leg of this initiative to me is a bit of a nightmare. Here we talk to the state-owned enterprises, the ESKIMs, the Transnets. On ESKIM's side, the reality is today, and I'll just use Soldano as one of the examples, we are paying 180% more than our most expensive plant in ArcelorMittal Group internationally during winter times. It goes up our tariff from 0.06 US cents to 0.22 US cents in winter times. This is during a time frame where Eskrim is long, and if I read the press, becoming even longer on the supply. It simply cannot continue. We've been talking to them for more than a year now to try and, try and get reduced numbers during the winter time past. Winter is nearly gone. We still haven't received that. In a discussion last week, we had with Eskim, we are now told to go directly to NURSA because of their inability to impact NURSA because this is NURSA related. So our first meeting with NURSA is set next week with the entire purpose that we then as the customer needs to go directly to the regulator in order to get the price reduced. For South Africa, we will have to get a realistic price for businesses in despair, businesses in distress, like the entire steel business currently. You've seen so many ferrochrome smelters closing and not able to open up. So I think it's a very difficult SA Inc. issue. It's a SA Inc. issue where your state-owned organizations cannot afford to continue to have 2%. Your downstream production cannot afford to pay positive numbers. And therefore, NURSA, I think, is in the middle of this. And NURSA will have to take a decision. What can they allow? And what will then have to be subsidized from government to the, to the ESKIMs of the world? So I feel for them. I think it's a bitterly difficult position to be in. But that's the reality. And that's, that's why they indicated to us that we have to go to NURSA ourselves and fight our own battles.